this is very excited meeting and excited time after two and a half years of COVID. So I presented yesterday the Euro European perspective of haploidentical transplant. Haploidentical transplant, I believe this is the most important development in the field of uh, transplantation. Haploidentical transplant started maybe 30 years ago in Perugia, in Italy. We see the cell depletion haploidentical transplant showing for the first time that you can uh, overcome a broad HLA disparity and do a, a successful transplant, but the results were uh, hampered by high risk of relapse and infection because of the high uh, tolerance that was done by select, selecting CD34 and actually eliminating of the immune system from the graft. And we know that the immune system is extremely important, as you could see today, with monoclonal antibody, CAR T cells and lymphatic malignancies, but moving also to uh, myeloid malignancies. So the revolution of the field is the tra non t depleted transplant with post-transplant cyclos that was uh, started in Baltimore and changed the biology of the transplantation. And now we and others have shown, uh, including in randomized studies that I presented yesterday, there is no difference between non-t-depleted haplo and unrelated transplantation, and even in some instances with uh, sibling transplantation. We also dissect uh, the result in uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia and AML, and uh, showed also that uh, cytogenetics are important, but maybe the haploidentical transplant can overcome the FLT3 lesion. And uh, the, all the new uh, drugs that are uh, presented in this meeting, you know, and the uh, anti-H1, anti-H2, uh, anti-FLT3 mutations, or Rafanib, and others that are incorporated now, even in frontline uh, therapy to AML, will be incorporated also pre- and post-transplantation to get our patient for transplant in better shape and to prevent relapse. So I think that the haploidentical transplant is really revolutionized the field of transplantation and with the new era patient, we, it's a, a good news and a great news uh, for our patients that may be cured for uh, this lethal disease. And thank you.